okay, I'm going to review a game where not most people expect me to review this, but there's got to be a first time for everything. You know, there's been good Mario games since the day I was born. And, you know, never, never has any of them disappointed me. Not even the Hotel Mario or the uh, typing games. Those are really great American culture influenced games. I really love those kind of games, and the art and the rare music that's in those games just bring the game to life. Now, recently, my all-time worst Mario game, I think of all time, is Super Mario RPG or Mario Kart Super Circuit. Now, recently Nintendo has been, you know, lacking in the freaking Mario department. You know, 3D Land was good. Okay, 3D Land was good. But they had some mistakes. Like, the Tanuki, to turn the Tanuki, you grab a leaf. In Mario 3, you grab the and it didn't even fly. What the And now, you need to grab a gray one to turn in stone Tanuki. What the Yeah, but 3D Land, okay, I can live with it. And then this game came. New Super Mario Brothers 2. Where they said at the beginning of it, the coins was the most important aspect of the game. They are wrong. The coins don't make you beat the game. You will be heavily rewarded once you get one million coins. Oh, f no. You get one million coins, you get a Mario statue and the title screen. That's it! Did they really expect us to play this repetitively like for a year? No, I'm still working on a million coins. I got 250k. I got all the star coins though and five stars out of the in like one day or so. And you know. Some of the coins and stuff were pretty easy to find. Some of the secrets are easy to find. The game, it just... The f raccoon Mario. He gets a leaf that you get in 3D land and turn into Nuki, but he turns in raccoon Mario with this leaf. It should have been green like the Bolish channel suggested. The leaf should have been green just like Mario 3 and in the sh I mean, what the And whenever you're coming down with the raccoon Mario, he does that little hovering ballerina thing where you just like floating in the air. Wee 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 wee. Whenever in Mario 3, you flap your tail. Tanuki 3D Land physics. Now, even Luigi has some problems in this game. He turns in a box. The only reason Luigi turns in a box is because. He's envious of Mario. Who gives a give him the Tanuki raccoon crap that, like in Mario 3? I mean, the Toads turn in raccoons. And he turns in Silver Luigi. Well, then he turns the coin silver. But when you get 10, you don't get a life like in Mario World. What the f This game, it just ruins the and not even all the Koopalines can fit in this clown car. For now, all of a sudden, this clown car can turn Mario in stone when it gets angry. What the f***? It was f angry in Mario World, but it didn't turn him to stone. The cannon's f with this game. Nintendo just f us with this cannon. Now, let's get to the most important aspect. The character design. The character design in this game is okay, but you know, the raccoon and the freaking fox day. I don't want that fox silver Luigi. I want him to have Mario power-ups. Luigi's Mansion 2 is going to blow this game out of the toilet because this game is one of the worst Mario games I ever played in my life. Now the gameplay in this game. Just like Super Mario Brothers Wii and New Super Mario Brothers One for the DS, but 
New Super Mario One for the DS is a good game. It gets a 10 out of 10. And then New Super Mario Brothers Wii, I guess it could get 10 out of 10 is kind of new. I thought that was the second one. So they're just going to whore out this new Super Mario Bros. engine. I thought Super Mario Brothers 4 was going to get announced at E3. Not more of this new It's been six years old. It shouldn't be called new. It should be called horse stupid Mario 2. I mean, they don't even borrow elements from Super Mario Bros. 2 for the NES. They just take Mario 3 and take some Resnors for Mario World and say, Hey, we got Mario 3, Mario World, and Mario 1. But not Mario 2! Because it's not canon! Mario 2 is canon is Bags working at Nintendo ruining the image of Mario. They need to make more American influenced games and freaking make all the American stuff canon. This f I'm gonna give this game, I'm serious, I'm giving this game a f out of 10. Yeah, that's right. I think some modern Sonic games are better than this game. Yeah, that's right. I said modern Sonic games are better than this game. For a Mario game, this is just a poor ass excuse. And the Ballish channel also found out two typos on this game. Especially on the manual. Obviously, like Sonic Generations, maybe just rushed a little bit more. I mean, this game sucks. You get everything in this game, you don't get nothing. Nothing. And I guess. I guessed the secret final boss was going to be Fry Bowser. You can even ask the Ballish channel. He's like, yeah, there's another Star World within our castle. I wonder who the boss is. I'm like, it's probably Dry Bowser since he fell in the lava. And guess what? I was right. This lazy ass got to stop with Nintendo. Why do they have to have two 2D Mario games this year? It's never happened in the history of Mario. Two 2D Marios in one year. Main canon games. So we got New Super Mario Bros. 2 and New Super Mario Bros. U. U looks better, but the squirrel outfit is hey, Why can't they bring back the tape? I mean, that's another thing with this game. New Super Mario Bros. 2, the raccoon whacking tail is the cape physics for racking. This is just horrible. I don't know what to think about this game, but this is the first time I've ever come to my senses to review a Mario game on my channel. Because all the other Mario games are really good as Mario Tennis Open, but you know, I didn't play that game. I just heard from the Ballas channel that that game sucks. This game drew the line for me. Now, if there's going to be more Mario games, like Paper Mario Sticker Star, or some that, if it's not good, I'm going to review it! And I'm not going to give it positive feedback, probably. If I review a Mario game on this channel, it's probably not going to get positive feedback. Because everybody in the world knows Mario 1 through World are the games in Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, Mario Galaxy 2. I mean, those are great games. They have freaking good settings, good soul in the games, and great differences to differentiate them from other titles in the series. This is just a rehash piece of going, hey, there's treasure chest in Mario 3. So, in this one, there's treasure chest in Mario Super Mario Bros. 2 as well! Oh yeah, and the only Mario 2 element in this one, the Ballas channel found out that they were going to originally be blue pile blocks. But since some guys argued that they wanted Mario 2 elements, what'd they do? They changed the pile blocks to red! How lazy is this piece of sh How is it possible to have a 2006 Nintendo DS game called New Super Mario Brothers better than a 2012 game? How is that possible? How? 
with the technology we have today, we should be able to create better platforming games than we did in the past. But no! This game is a freaking piece of sh I highly suggest you to not buy this game. This game sucks. I've never passed out, passed on a 3D or 2D Mario title in the main canon series. But, man, I wonder how they're going to make New Super Mario Bros. 3. They better stop this New Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. 4. Because I'm tired of this new It's not even new. I know for a fact this game is rushed. It is rushed. Okay, I beat the whole game in one day. I can get million coins in maybe one or two days with a freaking 18k to 26k coin trick each coin run and coin rush but you know this is a time it is a waste of time you know when you play some new mario games like new 2d marios like super mario brothers wii new super mario brothers 2 do you remember the level layout or the levels themselves or the setting no you always forget that remember some things in New Super Mario Brothers 1, but in Mario 1, 2, 3, and World, I can remember all of that shit like the back of my hand. Because it was memorable, it was iconic, and it was revolutionary for its time. This is not. This is a freaking, hey, we're going to take elements from those good games and put them in here so you can remember it all. What is with platforming games today? They always make games where they're new, but they take stuff from the old games and go, Hey, why don't you remember this? Why don't you have this something new for what you f***ing 